Ranulph Fines. Sir Ranulph Twizleton Wickham Fines, 3rd Baronet OBE, born March 7, 1944, commonly known as Ranulph Fran Fines, slash Ranulph Fane slash, is a British explorer and holder of several endurance records. He is also a writer and poet. Fines served in the British Army for eight years, including a period on counterinsurgency service while attached to the Army of the Sultanate of Oman. He later undertook numerous expeditions and was the first person to visit both the North and South Poles by surface means and the first to completely cross Antarctica on foot. In May 2009, at the age of 65, he climbed to the summit of Mount Everest. According to the Guinness Book of World Records in 1984, he was the world's greatest living explorer. Fines has written numerous books about his army service and his expeditions as well as a book defending Robert Falcon Scott from modern revisionists. Early Life and Education Fines was born in Windsor, Berkshire on March 7, 1944, nearly four months after the death of his father, Lt. Col. Sir Ranulph Twizleton Wickham Fines. Whilst commanding the Royal Scots Greys in Italy Fines' father trod on a German anti-personnel's mine and died of his wounds 11 days later in Naples on November 24, 1943. He was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Order. Fines' mother was Audrey Joan, died 2004, younger daughter of Sir Percy Newson, B.T. Fines inherited his father's baronetcy, becoming the third baronet of Banbury, at his birth. Fines is a third cousin of Mark Fines, whose children include actors Joseph and Ray Fines, and is a distant cousin to the British royal family. After the war his mother moved the family to South Africa, where he remained until he was 12. While in South Africa he attended Western Province Preparatory School in Newlands, Cape Town. Fines then returned to be educated at Sandroid School, Wiltshire and then at Eton College career. Officer. After graduating from the Mons Officer Cadet School on July 27, 1963 Fines served in his father's regiment, the Royal Scots Greys, and was seconded to the Special Air Service where he specialized in demolitions. Dot service life was enlivened by various scrapes and escapades, including an occasion when Fines and another officer procured a very lively, squirming piglet, covered it with tank grease and slipped it into the crowded ballroom of the Army's Staff College, Camberley. On another occasion, Offended by the construction of an ugly concrete dam built by 20th Century Fox for the production of the film Dr. Doolittle in the Wiltshire village of Castle Coombe, reputedly the prettiest village in England, Fines planned to demolish the dam. He used explosives which he later claimed to have accumulated from leftovers on training exercises. Using skills from a recently completed training course on evading search dogs by night, he escaped capture, but he and a guilty colleague were both subsequently traced. After a court case, Fines had to pay a large fine and he and his co-conspirator were discharged from the SAS. Fines was initially posted to another cavalry regiment but was then allowed to return to his regiment. Dot. Becoming disillusioned by his British Army service, in particular his career prospects, he spent the last two years of his service seconded to the Army of the Sultan of Oman. At the time, Oman was experiencing a growing communist insurgency supported from neighboring South Yemen. Fines had a crisis of conscience soon after arriving in Oman as he became aware of the Sultan's poor government. However he decided that the oppression threatened by a communist takeover, combined with moves towards progressive change within the Sultanate system, justified his part in the conflict. After familiarization, he commanded the reconnaissance platoon of the Musket Regiment, seeing extensive active service in the Defar Rebellion. He led several raids deep into rebel-held territory on the Jabal Defar and was decorated for bravery by the Sultanate. After eight years' service Fines relinquished his commission on July 27, 1971. Expedition Leader Since the 1960s Fines has been an expedition leader. He led expeditions up the White Nile on a hovercraft in 1969 and on Norway's Jostad Alspreen Glacier in 1970. One notable trek was the Transglobe expedition he undertook between 1979 and 1982 when he and two fellow members of 21 SAS, Oliver Shepard and Charles R. Burton, journeyed around the world on its polar axis, using surface transport only. Nobody else has ever done so by any route before or since. As part of the Transglobe expedition, Fines and Burton completed the Northwest Passage. They left Tuk to Yaktuk on July 26, 1981 in an 18-feet open Boston whaler and reached Tankery Fjord on August 31, 1981. Their journey was the first open boat transit from west to east and covered around 3,000 miles, 2,600 nautical miles or 4,800 kilometers, taking a route through Dolphin and Union Strait following the south coast of Victoria Island and King William Island, north to Resolute Bay via the Franklin Strait and Peel Sound, around the south and east coasts of Devon Island 
through Hellgate and across Norwegian Bay to Eureka, Greeley Bay and the head of Tankery Fjord. Once they reached Tankery Fjord, they had to trek a further 150 miles via Lake Hazen to alert before setting up their winter base camp. In 1992 finds led an expedition that discovered what may be an outpost of the lost city of Iram in Oman. The following year he joined nutrition specialist Dr. Mike Stroud to become the first to cross the Antarctic continent unsupported, they took 93 days. A further attempt in 1996 to walk to the South Pole solo, in aid of the breast cancer campaign, was unsuccessful due to a kidney stone attack and he had to be rescued from the operation by his crew. In 2000 he attempted to walk solo and unsupported to the North Pole. The expedition failed when his sleds fell through weak ice and Fines was forced to pull them out by hand. He sustained severe frostbite to the tips of all the fingers on his left hand, forcing him to abandon the attempt. On returning home, his surgeon insisted the necrotic fingertips be retained for several months before amputation, to allow regrowth of the remaining healthy tissue. Dot impatient at the pain the dying fingertips caused, Fines cut them off himself with an electric fret saw, just above where the blood and the soreness was. Despite suffering from a heart attack and undergoing a double heart bypass operation just four months before, Fines joined Stroud again in 2003 to complete seven marathons in seven days on seven continents in the Land Rover 7x7x7 challenge for the British Heart Foundation. In retrospect I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't do it again. It was Mike Stroud's idea. Their series of marathons was as follows. Originally Fines had planned to run the first marathon on King George Island, Antarctica. The second marathon would then have taken place in Santiago, Chile. However, bad weather and aeroplane engine trouble caused him to change his plans, running the South American segment in southern Patagonia first and then hopping to the Falklands as a substitute for the Antarctic leg. Speaking after the event, Fine said the Singapore marathon had been by far the most difficult because of high humidity and pollution. He also said his cardiac surgeon had approved the marathons, providing his heart rate did not exceed 130 beats per minute. Fines later said that he forgot to pack his heart rate monitor, and therefore did not know how fast his heart was beating. In June 2005, Fines had to abandon an attempt to be the oldest Briton to climb Mount Everest when, in another climb for charity, he was forced to turn back as a result of heart problems, after reaching the final stopping point of the ascent. In March 2007, despite a lifelong fear of heights, Fines climbed the Eiger by its north face with sponsorship totaling £1.8 million to be paid to the Marie Curie Cancer Care Delivering Choice Program. Kenton Cool first met Fines in 2004, and subsequently guided him in the Alps and Himalayas. In 2008, Fines made his second attempt to climb Mount Everest, getting to within 400 meters of the summit before bad timing and bad weather stopped the expedition. On May 20, 2009, Fines reached the summit of Mount Everest becoming the oldest British person to achieve this. Fines also became the first person ever to have climbed Everest and crossed both polar ice caps. Of the other handful of adventurers who had visited both poles, only four had successfully crossed both polar ice caps, Norwegian Berga Uesland, Belgian Alain Hubert, and Fines. Fines, in successfully reaching the summit of Everest in 2009, therefore definitely became the first person ever to achieve all three goals. Uesland wrote to congratulate him. Fines continues to compete in UK-based endurance events and has seen recent success in the veteran categories of some mountain marathon races. His training nowadays consists of regular two-hour runs around Exmoor. In September 2012 it was announced that Fines was to lead the first attempt to cross Antarctica during the southern winter, in aid of the charity Seeing is Believing, an initiative to prevent avoidable blindness. The six-man team was dropped off by ship at Crown Bay and Queen Maud Land in January 2013 and waited until the Southern Hemisphere's autumnal equinox on March 21, 2013 before embarking across the ice shelf. The team would ascend 10,000 feet 3, meters, onto the inland plateau, and head to the South Pole. The intention was for Fines and his skiing partner, Dr. Mike Stroud, to lead on foot and be followed by two bulldozers dragging industrial sledges. Fines had to pull out of the coldest journey expedition on February 25, 2013 because of frostbite and was evacuated from Antarctica. Author Fine's career as an author has developed alongside his career as an explorer, he is the author of 24 fiction and non-fiction books, including The Feather Men. In 2003, he published a biography of Captain Robert Falcon Scott which attempted to provide a robust defense of Scott's achievements and reputation, which had been strongly questioned by biographers such as Roland Huntford. Although others have made comparisons between Fines and Scott, Fines says he identifies more with Lawrence Oates, another member of Scott's doomed Antarctic team. 
political views. Fines stood for the Countryside Party in the 2004 European elections in the South West England region, fourth on their list of six. The party received 30,824 votes, insufficient for any of their candidates to be elected. Contrary to some reports, he has never been an official patron of the UK Independence Party. He is also a member of the libertarian pressure group the Freedom Association. In August 2014, Fines was one of 200 public figures who were signatories to a letter to the Guardian opposing Scottish independence in the run-up to September's referendum on that issue. Media Appearances As a guest on the British motoring television programme Top Gear, as a star in a reasonably priced car, his test track lap time, in a Suzuki Ileana was 151, putting him 26th out of 65. He also appeared in the Polar Special episode, casually berating the three hosts for their flippant attitude toward the dangers of the Arctic. According to an interview on Top Gear, Fines was considered for the role of James Bond during the casting process, making it to the final six contenders, but was rejected by Cubby Broccoli for having hands too big and a face like a farmer, and Roger Moore was eventually chosen. Fines related this tale again during one of his appearances on Countdown, in which he referred also to a brief film career that included an appearance alongside Liz Fraser. Between 1 and October 5, 2012, and again from 13 November 19, 2013, Fines featured on the Channel 4 game show Countdown as the celebrity guest in Dictionary Corner and provided interludes based on his life stories and explorations. Most recently Fines was an expert guest commentator on the PBS documentary Chasing Shackleton which aired in January 2014. Fines makes a number of corporate and after-dinner speeches. Personal Life Fines married his childhood sweetheart Virginia, Ginny, Pepper on September 9, 1970. They ran a country farm estate in Exmoor. Somerset, where they raised cattle and sheep. Ginny built up a herd of Aberdeen Angus cattle while Fines was away on his expeditions. The extent of her support for him was so great that she became the first woman to receive the Polar Medal. The two remained married until her death from stomach cancer in February 2004. Fines embarked on a lecture tour, where in Cheshire he met Louise Millington, whom he married at St. Boniface's Church, Bunbury, one year and three weeks after Ginny's death. A daughter, Elizabeth, was born in April 2006. He also has a stepson named Alexander. In 2007 Millington was interviewed by the Daily Telegraph to help raise money for the Philip Lieber Humequine Hospital in Cheshire. In 2003, Fine suffered a heart attack and underwent emergency bypass surgery. On March 6, 2010, Fines was involved in a three-car collision in Stockport which resulted in minor injuries to himself and serious injuries to the driver of another car. He had been in Stockport to participate in the annual High Peak Marathon in Derbyshire as part of a veterans team known as Poles Apart that, despite the freezing conditions, managed to win the veterans trophy in just over 12 hours. Fines is a member of the Worshipful Company of Vintners, the Highland Society of London and holds honorary membership of the Travellers Club. Awards and Recognition In 1970, while serving with the Omani Army, Fines received the Sultan's Bravery Medal. He has also been awarded a number of honorary doctorates, the first in 1986 by Loughborough University, followed in 1995 by University of Central England, in 2000 by University of Portsmouth, 2002 by Glasgow Caledonian University, 2005 by University of Sheffield, 2007 by University of Aberdeen Dundee and September 2011 by University of Plymouth. Fines later received the Royal Geographical Society's Founders Medal. He was the subject of This Is Your Life in 1982 when he was surprised by Eamon Andrews. Fines was appointed officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1993 for human endeavour and for charitable services, his expeditions have raised £14 million for good causes. In 1986 Fines was awarded the Polar Medal for Outstanding Service to British Polar Exploration and Research. In 1994 he was awarded a second clasp to the Polar Medal having visited both poles. He remains the only person to have received a double clasp for both the Arctic and Antarctica. In the 2007 Top Gear, Polar Special the presenters traveled to the magnetic North Pole in a Toyota Hilux. Fines was called in to speak with the presenters after their constant joking and horseplay during their cold weather training. As a former guest on the show who was familiar with their penchant for tomfoolery, Fines bluntly informed them of the grave dangers of polar expeditions, showing pictures of his own frostbite injuries and presenting what remained of his left hand. Sir Ranulph was given recognition by having his name placed before every surname in the closing credits, Sir Ranulph Clarkson, Sir Ranulph Hammond, Sir Ranulph May. 
In May 2007 Fines received ITV's Greatest Britain's Award for Sport beating fellow nominees Lewis Hamilton and Joe Calzaghe. In October 2007 Fines ranked 94th, tied with five others, in a list of the top 100 living geniuses published by the Daily Telegraph. In late 2008-early 2009 Fines took part in a new BBC program called Top Dogs, Adventures in War, Sea, and Ice, in which he teamed with fellow Britain's John Simpson, the BBC News World Affairs editor, and Sir Robin Knox Johnston, the round-the-world yachtsman. The team undertook three trips, with each team member experiencing the other's adventure field. The first episode, aired on March 27, 2009, saw Fines, Simpson and Knox Johnston go on a news-gathering trip to Afghanistan. The team reported from the Khyber Pass and the Tora Bora Mountain Complex. In the other two episodes they undertook a voyage around Cape Horn and an expedition hauling sledges across the deep frozen Frobisher Bay in the far north of Canada. In 2010 Fines was named as the UK's top celebrity fundraiser by Just Giving, after raising more than £2.5 million for Marie Curie Cancer Care over the previous two years, more than any other celebrity fundraiser featured on JustGiving.com during the same period. In September 2011 Fines was awarded an honorary doctorate in science from Plymouth University and in July 2012 he was awarded an honorary fellowship from the University of Glamorgan. In December 2012 Fines was named one of the men of the year for 2012 by Top Gear magazine. In October 2014 it was announced that Fines would receive an honorary doctorate of science, from the University of Chester, in recognition of outstanding and inspirational contribution to the field of exploration. Works, to the field of exploration. Works, to the field of exploration.